Hello everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we are going to be reviewing a product that's a little bit of a throwback. It's been out for a while now and the one that I'm talking about is this monitor right behind me. It is the Asus MG28U 4K 1 millisecond response time monitor. TN has trace free technology and is geared toward gaming. What kind of gaming? Personally, I definitely feel like this is one of the best bang for your buck console 4K monitors that you can get. Would I personally buy this monitor as like a content creation monitor? You could if you were on a budget. Honestly, the colors are that good for a TN panel especially. The viewing angles are pretty decent as well, which is one of the reasons why I do say that this is a really good console, I repeat console, gaming monitor. I did try to play some PC games on this thing. It does have FreeSync, but it's not G-Sync certified because of the age of the panel and it's not necessarily that great of a PC gaming experience. On the flip side, this thing does have HDMI 2.0. When you plug it in with your Xbox One X specifically, I think even the Xbox One S does support FreeSync, but for sure the X does, the one I have that I can test. This thing does give you some really good performance. No tearing at all. The motion, for some reason, feels like super smooth and like playing console on this thing just feels right. I don't know why. Playing PC on it felt kind of terrible. Playing console on it felt amazing. And obviously it's 4K, so the picture quality is really sharp. It is a TN panel, so the response time is very fast. They do have this trace-free technology that's built into the monitor. Personally, I would use anywhere between 40 and 60 um, percent of the trace free. You can set it all the way up to 100, but I found that when I set it to 100, it overshot a lot. And when I set it to zero, obviously the panel was ghosting quite a bit. Between 40 and 60 is definitely the sweet spot. I didn't really notice any ghosting at all. And like I said, the gaming performance of this thing was fine. It kind of threw me back because I haven't really been playing a ton of console games recently. So it's really nice to get back into it and get some really good performance. I do really love gaming on this thing especially with my xbox one x and the free sync and all that stuff that microsoft added with these software updates over the past couple of years and i feel like if you're looking for a budget entry into 4k gaming on console specifically and looking for something which is hdmi 2.0 this should be on your radar because this is like really cheap on amazon you can get it renewed for like 280 i've even seen it on sale at like 260 bucks which is really good for a monitor with this kind of performance. Now, can you spend a little bit more and get better panel technology? You can, you can get an IPS monitor, probably for around 350 bucks. You can get one with a little bit nicer color, but if you want that extremely fast response time that TN offers, especially if you're a competitive console gamer, and at the 28 inch screen size gives you a little bit bigger space, so probably sit back a little bit further from your, uh, your setup and you'll be rocking and rolling. I used to only play on like a 24 inch screen and do really good. Um, now I've noticed that since I have a little bit bigger desk, 24 inches got a little bit small and I moved my monitor back a little bit as well. So now I'm sitting further away so that I don't really feel like I have this giant screen in front of me. You know, my eyes aren't glued to the screen. Sitting back, playing at a comfortable distance and you can make a bigger and faster screen work. And trust me, it is nicer going to a bigger screen because what if you want to pull up a YouTube video, you're not watching on some tiny little 24 inch screen. Now, if you're a professional gamer, then yeah, probably stick with a smaller size. But if you're just looking for something to give yourself a much better gaming experience, a lot sharper picture, decent color reproduction, no motion blur while you're playing console games and take advantage of stuff like FreeSync on the Xbox, then I do think that this should be on your radar because for around 250 bucks, 280 bucks, I think that this is a really good pickup from Amazon. But all right guys, that is gonna be it for this quick video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Feel free to join the Discord if you guys have any other questions about upcoming reviews and products that we're working on right now. And yeah, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.